we can we can do a lot in a day okay may not feel like it but you can but you have to be focused you have to know what your priorities are and you have to make sure you're making time for what's really important to you hello everyone welcome to my channel I'm Hannah Ashton and today I am going to be answering your questions and explaining how I'm able to quote do it all in college aka be a full-time college student run this YouTube channel, and then also run my own personal business that I founded myself. I'm also gonna be explaining how to make the most of your time, stay productive, run a business while in college. All of your questions will be answered, I hope. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with the video. This is a good question, I think, to start out with. Um, what facet takes most of your time? Is it school, business, or YouTube? As of right now in this stage of my life, it is definitely college, it's definitely school, just because I am a full-time student, I'm doing 15 credit hours um, a semester, which is five full-time classes, and they, it definitely takes the most time, whether I'm sitting in class, doing homework, working on a group project, and I mean, that's expected. I'm in college, very thankful to get that higher education, and so although I would like to spend more time most days on YouTube and business, as of late, it's been school, then YouTube, because I've been trying to be on my YouTube game, trying out some different videos, working with brands, and then the least amount of time has been my business, just because I'm in the stage of prepping for a new launch. So normally, my business does take up a lot of time because I'm shipping out orders myself, I'm dealing um, with customers who maybe had shipping problems, or I'm updating the website, constantly trying to promote and sell. But right now, it's a little bit slower because I'm kind of just in the waiting phase as I wait for my new inventory to get here so I can launch the Dream Achieve Workbooks 2.0. So yeah, that's how much time I spend to each right now, school day definitely takes the most time. This next question is really great and kind of goes along with that. How do you split your time between all the things you have to get done? Well, I do run and manage all these parts of my life. I also have a boyfriend and I have friends, I have a family, and I try to also work on my relationship with God and my faith and religion. So just like me, I'm sure you are managing a ton of things in your life, personal, and professional and so what I try to do is make sure that every day I have a focus whether it's gonna be more of a personal day or a professional day um, so the weekdays are normally professional days so I'll focus on the weekdays on my school and my work and then I'll narrow it down even more being like okay out of school and work which do I need to focus on today? Do I need to get two videos filmed so my focus is YouTube? Do I have a big project due so I'm gonna be, you know, bumming it in a coffee shop working on schoolwork all day? Or do I need to make some moves in my business and dedicate three hours to that? So I kind of figure out what the focus is gonna be for each day. So on weekdays, I put my professional life before my personal life unless it's a, you know, something crazy comes up, something awful, obviously then you have to deal with what's, um, what's kind of personal in your life. But for the most part, during the weekdays, Monday through Thursday, I am putting professional work before my personal life. And on the weekends, I put my personal life before my professional life, meaning I'll put off homework until I hang out with some friends and I have some time to relax. I'll go out to dinner instead of staying up all night editing a video. I feel like I ha finally have found a really good balance in between, yes, I'm dedicated to my work and my career, but also I'm 21 and I'm in college and I wanna enjoy this time of my life as well. So. Long-winded answer to hopefully <laughs> answer your question. What tools and products help you to stay productive and save time? This is a great question because I actually wanted to talk to you guys about Office Depot Office Max, who is the sponsor of today's video. I loved working with them this past summer as they helped me get my shipping area that you see behind me and underneath this table all organized to help me like level up in my business and be more productive and get more done. And they're working with me again on this video, which is amazing because if you are a student who's constantly doing projects, constantly needing new supplies, or if you are a small business owner, Office Depot is the one-stop shop for you. I just got a big package from them, as you can see, with some products that I'm so excited for. They're gonna help me take my business to the next level and help me prepare as I get ready for the Dream Achieve Workbook 2.0 launch happening next month. So the first product I got from them is this Dymo label printer. I have been wanting a label printer ever since I started my product business and was shipping orders out of my 
dorm, my home room, and my apartment. Um, normally I used to use a normal printer, which is so big to lug around, but I love how I can easily travel with this Dymo printer for when I'm at college or when I'm at home. And it's gonna speed up my fulfillment process so amazingly. I'm gonna feel like that professional small business on TikTok that we see with the rolls of labels printing out. So I got some extra um, labels to go into the printer. And then with my last launch, I put a handwritten note in every order and I decided I love doing that so much I'm gonna do it again so I use Office Depot's printing services to print out these postcards that I designed myself so it has a gorgeous collage here on the front with the dream achieve workbook a photo of me a photo of the workbook some inspirational quotes just like a mood board for my brand to kind of get people inspired as they open up their package and then with my logo on the back and this is where I will write a personalized note for each order that I receive so you know it's coming from me I wrapped it with my own hands and it just shows I think how thankful I am for each order that I get whether you order the sticker set whether you order one of the new workbook planners like I'm just so thankful for you guys and for you supporting my business and so the least I can do is offer a little personalized note but yeah, I feel like a lot of people go to Office Depot, you know, for the products that they may need in their business, but they don't realize the amazing services they have as well. Printing services are just one of the services they have as an option. I'm gonna list some others here on the screen. But I love their on-demand print services to help you with all of your marketing needs. And if you're a small business owner, you probably know that sometimes urgency is needed and you just need a product right then and there. Like you run out of packing tape or other shipping supplies and you have all these orders to fulfill. So what I love about Office Depot, Office Max is that they offer same day pickup on select orders or free same day shipping on select orders so that you can get the products that you need right when you need them. It saves a lot of stress and saves a lot of time. Check out the link in the description box to start your online order at Office Depot. Check out the products I've done, see how they can help you or your business. And thank you to Office Depot for sponsoring this video. This is a good question because I feel like this happens often, but I've never been asked. What do you do when everything suddenly has a deadline all at once? To be honest, guys, that is this week that I'm filming this. I'm home for Easter break and I also only have like two and a half weeks of school left, so I have three group projects due this week and three videos, YouTube videos, sponsorships due this week. Um, so I'm trying to like enjoy my Easter weekend. I'm also trying to make sure I can get everything done to finish the school year strong, to not let my sponsors down. And so it's, it's honestly been a lot and I have definitely been stressed this past week, but a few things I do to help when all these deadlines are due is stay focused. And that means I knew that as I drove home today, yes, I would love to be sitting out by the pool with my family right now, but I knew that I had to take a class. I knew I had to film this video. I knew I had to work on a school project and I'm gonna try to get it all done in the shortest amount of time possible so that one, you can move on to the next thing or I can enjoy the rest of my weekends. So like I said, personal days are my Saturdays and Sundays. Um, so I really wanna be able to enjoy my weekend with my family especially since it's a holiday and so I have been focused all week like I have not gone out to eat with my friends during the week I have literally gone to class stayed in my apartment and worked all week to try to get everything done and some weeks it's gonna take that some weeks you can't always prioritize the fun stuff and you can't always prioritize um, all the aspects of self-care that you love but something that I do is I make sure that I get those little pieces of self-care that I have to have in my day in my day I do those things first and then I can stress about all the work the rest of the day for example this past week I've been on my fitness grind and I wanted to stick with that but I also knew I had so much to get done and so what I did is first thing in the morning I did my self-care which was in the form of drinking my coffee reading my Bible and then after that I went straight to the gym for honestly 30 to 45 minutes makes an hour one day like I really gave myself that time in the morning to take for myself and then I would go back up shower get dressed eat breakfast and then get started with my day and be like N okay you got this you have your self-care time you're ready to start the day um, and I just feel like getting prepared in the morning and having a good morning routine helps me to be able to focus on all the deadlines and all the work that I may have to do the rest of the day and the rest of the week there was another question in here that had something to do with like you seriously don't have enough time in the day to do something like how do you still balance it all you can't okay if you are so stressed out that you can't even 
put a little bit of self-care in your day that you can't even go for a workout that you can't even enjoy something you love in the morning like if you're too busy for even that small aspect of self-care and you're literally on the verge of losing it something has to go I hate saying you know I know you probably don't want to hear that but you really have to figure out what you're going to prioritize in this aspect of your life and what is really helping you get to your next goal. Now, some things we can't say no to. If you have a family you're taking care of, if you have a sibling you're taking care of, if you have a friend who's not doing too well um, mentally or physically and you have to help them, like, I understand, like, not everything is about you. And so there are people and things in your life that are going to take your attention and your time without that aren't maybe serving you and that's okay helping the people around you I'm not talking about that stuff to drop I'm talking about saying no to things that you're just doing because you don't want to say no to for example they ask you to join this club they need some extra members your friends in it you really don't have time to do it but you what don't want to disappoint your friend so you say yes anyway what I'm saying is something has to give you need to stop a club you need to cut back on your class hours whether it's you know dropping one of your side hustles I know we all like have these side hustles and dreams that we're working towards but if I really felt like my business was stressing me out to the point of not being able to enjoy my days or enjoy my life or even enjoy my weekends I would probably stop doing my business okay so I really think it takes looking and assessing your day where are you spending the most amount of your time with and what areas can you take out what things can you drop to give yourself that extra time so you're not feeling so overwhelmed 24 7. Some weeks and months are full like hustle seasons of life. I get it. We're trying to build a business. We're trying to be in school, get a nine to five job, like raise a family, whatever it is for you. Some seasons of your life are going to be hustle. Okay. And that's, that's okay. It's the ebbs and flows of life, but you cannot go years and years without taking a break. And with the constant busyness and constant hustle, I think 2020 was a great time for everyone because we were forced to slow down and the whole world was. So it wasn't like we we're missing out or not being good enough. Like the whole world was slowing down. And I know I really enjoyed that like little breath of, okay, I don't have to be constantly hustling. Hustling. So give yourself that more often like give yourself that break whether it's a vacation whether it's your summers whether it's a few weeks where you're not going to be doing your side hustle or your extra job if you can like figure out what you need to drop from your life because if you're constantly stressed and constantly busy and never have a second to breathe you are going to get burnt out so fast. I feel like these are such long answers but I just have so much to say. <laughs> This kind of goes along with relaxing. How much time do you need to relax? I take one day a week to not touch my schoolwork, which is normally Saturdays. I'll still do my creative, you know, business and YouTube work on Saturdays, but I won't do any schoolwork. And then I try to plan fun things on the weekends, movie nights with my roommate, going out to dinner and drinks with friends, coming home to see my family, see my boyfriend. Um, and so I would say hours I also like I said have my morning routine and have my night routine as like caps to the end of my day so probably I rest or relax for like probably four hours of my day and then also my Saturdays and Sundays so I probably take like collectively four and a half two hours in the morning 30 minutes mid-afternoon you know around lunch I'll take a like social media break I'll look at my phone I'll call my mom I'll go for a walk and then my nighttime routine I'm probably gonna be up for two hours of my night where I'm not working I'm just watching TV making dinner on FaceTime with my boyfriend so I would say about four to four and a half hours of the day I'm not working and then um, and then my weekends <laughs> so Hope that explains it. Um, you kind of just have to figure out what works for you. If you're, how do you eat so well and have motivation to exercise? I definitely go through waves throughout my year of like being super motivated to go to the gym and then like not motivated to go to the gym. Right now I'm in that motivated stage. But for eating healthy, one thing I really love about being in college and being in an apartment on my own is I'm able to cook for myself and cook meals that I love but are also up to code with how healthy I want to be. But what I recommend doing is having like three or four go-to meals. I can list the meals my roommate and I eat pretty much every night of the week. Like we just spread them out and we eat these um, throughout the weeknights whenever we're cooking. So then if you kind of get into this rhythm where you know the, your go-to healthy meals and so every week at the grocery store, you know exactly what to buy. I don't go on Pinterest every Sunday and finding all these healthy new meals to make. Like. 
no i know already know ahead of time what i'm going to make because i've made it before I'll, i like trying out maybe one or two new recipes every few weeks but for the most part i'm too busy to try out new recipes so i just have my go-to recipes and i stick with them i eat them every night and i just i don't get sick of them because i really like them um i'll change it up here and there with some different sauces some different condiments some different seasonings for them but for the most part that's what i make every week and i will have leftovers for lunch or i'll make just a version, smaller version of them for lunch and then breakfast is pretty easy but how do you stick to your schedule and not procrastinate um i answered this on an ig live yesterday and i just said like sticking to your schedule and getting things done takes a lot of discipline it's so weird because once you stop procrastinating you like never want to procrastinate again like i have if i have a project due monday i'm gonna want to finish that project on Friday so that I can enjoy my weekend because I know I'm gonna if I don't I'm gonna be thinking about it all weekends and I actually won't get to take that time off I won't get to relax and so whenever a professor or your boss whoever gives you a deadline make your own personal deadline like two days before I would start with that um, like literally put it on your Google Calendar put it in your planner two days at least before the actual projects do, that is your personal deadline. That is when you're gonna try to have it completely done, okay? This is gonna help you because if you are used to procrastinating, you're gonna procrastinate, but you'll still get it done on that personal deadline, hopefully, uh, and then you'll feel like you maybe didn't procrastinate as much. And then it'll start becoming a habit to where you don't have to move up the physical deadline. You just know like, okay, I'm gonna get this started a week in advance so that I can be done two days in advance, have the time to look over it, talk to my classmates how they're feeling about it and it just helps you feel more on top of it for distractions um i highly recommend setting a timer on your computer or on your phone and putting your phone like like multiple feet away from you where you physically would have to get up and walk to it to retrieve it set a timer for 30 minutes work on that one task that one thing for that 30 minutes or 40 however long you think you'll need and that's all you're gonna do you're not gonna check the clock you're not gonna respond to any emails you're not gonna respond to any texts you're literally only gonna work on that one thing till your timer goes off and then you can switch tasks you can take a break do whatever but you have to be like so focused in and I like setting timers so I know when the time is up and when the time's passing and I'm not constantly looking at the clock and being distracted by my phone so literally timer phone on do not disturb put your phone away focus <laughs> okay I think this is gonna be the last question I answer been feeling burned out lately from school, but lots of tasks to finish. Any tips on this? Yes, I recently was thinking about like, what are my tips to finish the semester strong? Cause I feel you girl, like these shortened semesters with online and in-person school, it's a lot. Um, personally, I've tried to plan stuff that's really fun for after school. Um, I'm thankful that my friends, we were able to put together a small like beach trip, literally the day after my last final, it was, a last minute decision but I'm very thankful that I feel safe enough to like travel and all that now um, and I can enjoy a break because I got no spring break nothing um, so obviously you don't have to put a beach trip at the end of your semester but plan a night at your favorite restaurant plan a movie night watching your favorite movies go get your hair done go get your nails done whatever something exciting is for you Make it a plan and do that literally your last day of the semester, like when you're done with all your finals or that following weekend. But like do it as soon as possible right when you get done so you like have something to look forward to besides just submitting all your assignments. It's like something fun. Something I did also that's really helpful is, I don't know if it will stress you out more or be helpful, you can figure that out for yourself, but I made a list on Notion of all the little assignments I had due before the end of the semester. I did this about a month out. Now I'm like two weeks out from the end of my semester and I just have so much fun. As soon as I submit anything now, I go to that list titled Summer 2021, Here I Come, and I just click um, when I've done those assignments, and it's like so therapeutic to kind of see the list getting smaller as I'm getting to the end, so that's keeping me going. Those are my two tips for finishing the semester strong. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a helpful reminder that, yes, you can do so much in your day. Like, we, we, can, we can do a lot in a day, okay? May not feel like it, but you can. But you have to be focused, you have to know what your priorities are, and you have to make sure you're making time for what's really important to you. Whether that's people around you, whether that's your self-care, 
know what's important to you, make time for it, and then build your life kind of around that. And that is my biggest goal. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I am so parched from talking. Also, thank you to Office Depot, Office Max for sponsoring this video. I hope it was helpful. I got a lot more questions. So if you guys like this video and you want a part two, I can totally do that. But I hope you guys have an amazing week. If you guys want more updates on my business, I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes on TikTok and Dream Achieve Workbook on Instagram, as well as some YouTube videos called My Business Diaries. So check those out if you want more info on how I'm getting prepared for the new launch. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Peace out.